Ooh. Yes. Hello everyone, my name is The Overnight, or Emma for short. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to The Bridge Curse 2, The Extraction. I have been looking forward to this for so long, um, well I say so long, it's only, I've only, I think it was like five months ago I recorded the first one, um, but ever since I knew there was like a second one, I was hoping it was like coming out soon for the PlayStation. Um, ooh. Um, I did put like a pull up on scroll of a gun. Um, oh shit. That, that went really, honestly scroll of a gun did so much better than I thought it would. So um, if you want to see more of that, I will definitely be like recording more because it's done so well since it came out. Um, but yeah, enough about Scroll of a Gun. We are on the Bridge Curse 2. Um, Sulin, former... Oh. This film depicts a murder that took place in Wenhui oh. University's Da Ren building in yes. 1960. I, I've got to get out of here. You are mine. Shu Yo Yi. Ah, uh, yeah. Shu <laughs> yo Oh shit. Even if I die, <laughs> never get away from you. I should not laugh at that. How? This is the... How is this possible? I. He. No. No! This building traps the souls of all who die here. Shu Yo Yi. We will be together forever. The Hexed Building. September 14th, 7 o'clock. Oh, School it's a movie. Room. Be there or beware. Ah, okay, so they, that's their movie. Also, sorry that I laughed at that. It was just the fact that she like, even if I die, and then the guy just goes, bonk. <laughs> I don't know what that motion was, but that was meant to be the, the axe. Sorry, the, the thing. Hello, Mrs. Wong? Sue, where the heck are you? I'm out in the field reporting. Oh, wait, what? In the field? Lynn was just telling me that you're refusing to be put on the entertainment beat. Oh, uh, I, um, no, it's not like that, Mrs. Wong. Recently, I haven't been feeling well. Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. Uh, all right, all right. So where'd you run off to? I called you more than ten times, and it kept saying you were out of range. I just got to Wenhua University. I'm guessing the connection isn't too good up here. Wenhua? Oh, those film students and their ghost sighting video. Bingo! It's ghost month. And with this being a creepy ghost story, I figured I could get an exclusive. Come on, Sue. There's no way the school will let you touch that with a ten-foot pole. We basically smeared them with that report on the Huang Ting Ting missing persons case. How about picking something else? No way, Mrs. Wong. That's exactly it. If I can get something, this story is gonna, like, totally go viral. Ah, <sighs> fine. It gets pretty spooky up there at night. Be careful, will ya? Yep. Thanks, Mrs. Wong. So, oh shit, I, I don't know if the characters... Ooh, run. I thought it was safe with a plea for help written on the back. Mysterious letter that Su Lin was carrying with her on the back written in warped red letter. It reads, help me. So that's her employee ID. Yeah, I don't remember the characters' names because, um... No. Red envelope. The envelope contains some hair and 100 yuan. Yuan? I hope I said that right. Note, the four pillars of destiny for some specific person are written on the back. According to folklore, if you want to find a suit of marriage part of someone who has already passed, you can place a red envelope on the ground and wait for their fated part and I pick it up. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't remember the characters' names because, like... Oh. Did I do that? Oh, one more thing. If anything happens, don't hesitate to call me. Huh? Now that you're covering entertainment, I'm responsible for you, Sue. All oh, right, already. Get to it. Did... did you get it? Hello? What? Who is this? The letter. It was so, so difficult to get to you. Wonderful. Okay. So, Dad, sure you're not coming home tonight. You have a case and you investigate. Tell Mom for me. Didn't they put you on entertainment? What the heck do you need to investigate that for? You know your mom was really worried about you when you're out chasing cases or what have it. You really should just quit. Apply for a government job. It's a stable income and it's good work. Trust me. I'm just gonna refuse. No, Dad, we've talked about this a million times. If you keep worrying like this, I'm just gonna move out. I know. At least let us know when you're finished tonight. Love you. You okay? I heard you got sent to the front lines. I'm okay, thanks for asking. Being a lead anger ain't easy. There's a lot of talented young reporters who'd kill for it. I'll be back in no time, just gotta get a hot lead. You got this, can't wait to see what you got. That video the club put out was exploding. Are there really that many ghost stories about when who? Even the duck and dogs are ghosts. I ain't duck and kid and duck face saw it when I was running the track. It even ran with me. I'm gonna assume that's like an autocorrect joke. Okay, so that was me, clicking square. D anyone? <laughs> I feel like it's probably like a little ritual, like if you press it like three times within like five seconds, it'll probably jump scare you or something. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Hey! Who the hell's down here? I thought I was like a, a big monster. Cause some trouble, eh? Go on, get out of here. I'm, I'm gonna admit, because I want to say it like before I forget about it. Um, when I seen him on the screenshots, he. Okay, so I guess this is a stealth section. When I seen him on the screenshots, he looks like Joe from Dead Rising. Um, I mean, obviously, he'll eventually reveal his face, so I'm not going to put up a picture of him, but I'll put up a picture of Joe um, after this part. Just so, you know, I don't mess up the cutscene. Okay. Oh, should I move my camera? Um, I suppose, yeah, let's, let's just move my camera. A promotional poster for a horror movie shot, shot by the film club. This film is a reenactment of the Darren murders, which occurred in countless many years ago. The trailer went viral during an apparent ghost sighting that was caught on camera. It sparked heated discussions online concerning whether or not this was just some post-production. What a trailer. Ploy to get views. Yeah, I'll put up a picture of Joe right now from Dead Rising. Um, I'll probably ha I'll probably use the the remake one because I've only ever played Dead Rising Four and the remaster. Um, maybe the maybe the comparison isn't there. Um, but yeah, just keep in mind what Joe looks like from Dead Rising when we finally see that guy properly. Gurgle, gurgle. 
Okay. Yeah, I I don't want to like sound like offensive, but I don't really remember the characters' names because Chinese names for me anyway are very hard to remember. Cause like obviously I'm English, so like it's very hard for me to like remember them. I feel terrible for saying that, but I'm just wanting to be honest that I do not remember. So if anyone knows that these characters were in the first game, please let me know. Um, due to the dim light and the safety hazards that this incurs, loitering in our around the Dana building is strictly prohibited after my at which time the doors will be locked. Please leave the building before midnight. Still got two hours. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to use my cell phone. Horror themed welcome event at the. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so I'll still be able to, like, look at this. Kind of, but I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go along. A horror themed welcome event at the Wen Hu students could you put a lot of work into. The fact that it's being held during Ghost Month really enhances the experience. 2016, a carnival of horrors. Wen Hu's 20. 24th annual recruitment event, 9th of the 7th, 9th of 14, hosted by Carnival Horrors team. All our activities are totally safe, there's no need to worry. Looks like a face hugger. Isn't this not the exact same elevator that the girl went in? Okay, that was just the elevator, I'm assuming. Okay, do I want to go? I guess one? I will admit, I haven't... I do know nothing about this game. For once, like... Hey, oh shit. Hey, Zin, I'm just checking. The key to the register's office is the military instructor's room, right? Yeah. So you were serious. Whoa, oh my god. Fucking wild. I probably will have to, like, turn my camera off every now and then. Um, appreciate the help and not asking too much. Just so, like, I can read some of the text, because I don't know how to explain it. The post said, urgent high pay part-time work. Looks like a scam for sure. I'm investigating a case, couldn't really discuss the details. Again, thanks for the help. As we agreed on, I'll arrange for a print interview with the film club. Okay, thanks. Is that it? Okay. Head to the military instructor's office on the first floor. Yeah, so I wanted to say I do not know anything about this game. Um, I know I said like for once, but what I meant to say was... Unlike the first and second game that I've seen my partner play a tiny bit of, um, I have i didn't watch her play this. Because um, she played on Steam. A pamphlet for new students that includes a 2D map. Take a look at it if you get lost. Ooh. Very nice. Hey, it's got Resident Evil kind of stuff. I love that. It's got like... Oh, I love that. That's so good. By that I mean like, it's got the unexplored and the explored area. So like, areas that have been explored go blue and areas that haven't been fully explored go grey. I like that. But yeah, as I was trying to say, um, I watched my partner play a bit of Bridge Curse 1 and 2. Sorry, Bridge Curse 1 and White Deer. Um... He really fell asleep already. Um, yeah, I watched her play Bridge Curse 1. And White Day, so I kind of knew what was going to happen in them games. A touch and love story about a relationship destined by the gods of fear between a human and spirit that has possessed a vending machine. Okay.
That's not creepy at all. I have a friggin' dog cow stone here. But the only thing I know about this game is I've seen one of the enemies. Um, or one of like the main villains. Which I'm not going to give away who it is. Um, but, and I've also seen like a few of the characters, but that's about it. Why got a doghouse down here? I don't know why I keep pressing square. So is that that same guy or is that like someone different? Oh no, it's the same guy. And now we turn to the tech sector. The long established video game company Softstar Entertainment announced yesterday that it plans on releasing several titles next year. They plan to focus on the development of single player games set to launch on global platforms in the future. Wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, I do not think he's asleep. There is no way in hell you actually fall asleep like that. Hey. Hey. Uh. Uh. Old fart like me, I never get any goddamn rest. Okay, looking at him now, I do not think he looks uh. like Joe. Oh. So I better make myself busy. I thought you were gonna pull out a tab. I thought he's gonna, he gonna pull out a tablet and start like flipping it up and down like FNAF. Watch out, enemies will only hear sounds that you make when you're moving. They also notice the sounds of items you bump into. Oh! What what counts as bumping in like this? Oh, okay, so that was... Okay, I will admit I do remember her. Um... Okay, so yeah, probably immediately press that. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I do remember that little doll. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Faster, 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 faster! Oh, what's this? Coming in here. Oh yes. Yeah, why? Why though? Classic old oldies tape. A limited edition cassette tape. Legendary campus folk singer from when who strumming his guitar and singing classic images that really talks about the heartstrings of people. This one's a tape from Sergeant Huang's personal collection. It's a tune that you often hear him humming as he goes about his business. Don't turn around, don't turn around. Oh, so he's looking at the poster. <gasps> Fuck. 
I know he's just a human, but still. This is intense. Also, why is it Sonic just crawling? Old fashioned boots. Lottery ticket. A lottery ticket found a pair of shoes that someone forget to throw it away after checking numbers. Oh, they never check to begin with. The world may never know. Come on! Oh. I'm assuming that the key. Oh shit. I was gonna say that the key is maybe like. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. It's maybe in this room. But I doubt it would be, so, you know, let's just keep moving. Okay, so as soon as I get in there, I should probably just like search. Uh, stop, stop what you're doing. Stop, 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 stop. Wait, why can't I hide in there? Ooh, 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 ooh. A key that opens the main door at the registry office. It's usually kept in the military instructor's office. Head to the registrar's office on the first floor. I was going to try and sneak behind him. You better not turn around. I Am I crawling on the floor, by the way? Run, 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 run. Okay, what's my objective? Head to the registrar's office on the first floor. Is this the same school? I I'm guessing it would be. Um... Direct condoms. The school has set up a special program to, a pro to promote awareness of AIDS and other sexually transmitted diseases. Collection update. Why? Why is that in my collection now? I don't want that in my collection. Computer classroom A. Ooh. Okay, I'm pretty sure I do remember something happening in the classroom on... When I assume my partner played, but I don't remember much. As I say, I try to literally, like... Ignore what was going on. I literally put headphones on just to ignore like the gameplay. Um, the BL simulation game voice love on air. So I promise that I have not like seen any of this game. I mean, yes, I've seen a tiny bit, but like not enough to the point where it's like I know exactly what's going to happen, like Bridge Curse. Oh, so this is the second floor then, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I need to get in there somehow. Um... I mean, if you don't mind breaking your legs, you can always, you know, hop over. Let me just check the obvious one first of like actually lifting this up or like interacting with somehow. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, right, yeah, I, I should have kept going and I should have went down these stairs. I thought for some reason these stairs were connected to the other, to the other ones. Um, that makes more sense. It definitely looks like they shot it down them down in that basement. So it's the register's office. What are we searching for? Board with weird shapes. A transparent board with some generic Geometric patterns on it. it. Looks like there's more than one of these. It also resembles the pins on the wall. Could they be connected somehow? Of course, it's a puzzle. Could use that to save your game. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have to find another one. Okay, so that's obviously a code. So it's puzzle time. Also, I mentioned it to um, someone in the comment section. Um, sorry, I forget your name. I, I'm terrible with remembering names. Uh, I remember someone mentioning that. Well, I mentioned. Okay, let me just read this first. Follow up on the Huang Ting Ting Huang Ting Ting case. I hope I said that right. On the day that the student went missing, we cooperated with the police and showed them the surveillance footage from the main entrance. We confirmed that she had not left campus. Huang Ting Ting did not leave, live on campus, and we usually take a bus or taxi to leave the mountain and return home. Based on the student's eyewitnesses' account, she was last seen in the Darren building. Once again, it's the Darren building, just like the dance department. It didn't happen 10 years ago. So the security discovered something strange on the elevator surveillance footage. After he notified the higher-ups, they held a secret meeting and decided to only provide the police with the first half of the footage. Everybody agreed that they given the police the full master tip to do nothing about the case. Ooh, someone's getting touched. <laughs> and I mean, like, I mean, like, getting touched on their legs, not... <laughs> it doesn't matter. Topic, Ghost in the Hex Building, Orpha, Wen Hu, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. What a name. Sorry, I mean, like, what a, what a username. Time, 8th of the 20th, 119. Looks like the campus is again. I'm a freshman at Wenho, total noob. I know I heard that Wenho was built on the boundary between some yin and yang zones. So apparently attracts evil and spirits and stuff. The Daren building was supposed to be built in time with the eight trigrams, but they screwed it up and put them in reverse order. Those jerks messed up the feng shui and now dark spirits everywhere. The whole thing's haunted and there's been murmurs about the elevator for quite some time some say you can take it to basement free which doesn't even exist but i ain't seen any of that anybody else that's been here a while got any ghost stories or anything jumbled up letters i'm not going to try and say that dumbass is 45 kd the mad ballerina cat spirit riding the bus fire all general electives that are impossible to sign up for darren murder so freaking scary empty music rooms go there and i can get out your shit your pants i seen that just Graduated, so you saw the necklace consort. Oh, there are web pages you haven't read yet. So, video rumors, dear, dear friends and students, there have been bizarre rumors circulating online in Okay. Circulating online about ghosts appearing in the elevator of Darren Building. The prevented choose from disturbing the peace of our lovely school. Our security guards will increase their patrols. Please do not speak before the students or the media about these rumors. Together, we will squash. We shall quash these ugly rumours to prevent outsiders from disturbing campus life. Please be wary and take extra precautions when encountered anything or anyone related to the matter. Topic, military's instructors notice. Friends and students loitering in campus is prohibited tonight. Please remember to do your part in civilian energy and make sure to turn off all electrical devices before leaving. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay, I was gonna try and turn it off, but I guess I'm not allowed to do that. Right, so Oh Um I don't get it. 
I saw something. Oh. Yep, same same dialogue, same text. I guess one to and then go two. Oh, okay. Two blue. A work of me of art made by putting together two transparent balls. It forms different shapes when you look at it at different angles. Why? Why is that? What does it mean? Nine zero zero L. Or seven zero zero six. That's that's cool as shit. That. That is such a unique puzzle. I'm not trying. I'm not saying that sarcastically. That is freaking awesome. Did I not get it right? Seven zero six. Seven zero eight. That is so cool. No. I don't know what that could be. Nine zero zero one, maybe. Nine zero zero one. Oh wait, why am I? Maybe it's not in the actual. Okay, that makes more sense. So. It's 7006, but it's not like exactly like that. So red is 7. I'm sure everyone noticed this before like I even mentioned it. So I'm sorry if I'm a bit dumb. Um, and then blue is 6. And then the other ones are 0. Absolutely amazing, I love that. Master tape? Jeez. Can't believe it's still here. But where the heck can I even play this thing? Ooh. <laughs> oh, come on now. I'm not that ugly, am I? Didn't mean to scare you there, freshman. You okay? Yeah, I'm oh. fine. Hmm. You don't look like much of a student. Bit old, I'd say. What with all that pretty makeup and whatnot. Hmm. Oh. Sue Leanne, I'm a reporter for United News. Well, what do you know? You're that sweetheart anchor from the TV, aren't you? I'll tell you what, that screen don't do you justice. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't like you. Anyway, I'm here to interview some students. Oh, this late? Um, yeah. They must be busy or something. Let me see if I can get a hold of them. Hmm. Hi, I'm sorry, but the person you called is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. Not picking up? <laughs> Wait. How can they just leave you hanging like that? Uh, sorry. He seems pretty it's chill, actually. I'm not... Moment, but... Uh, hey, Sarge. Can I interview <coughs> you instead? No. No, It no, can no. be about anything. Uh, the campus, so. the school's history. Hmm. My boss wants me to do a report on Wunhua. Or maybe you could, like, tell me a story or something? He doesn't look like Joe. Now that I now oh, that I look at him closer, I got you. Can't go back empty-handed, huh? I think it's because of the oh, oh, lucky you. The outfit. So many stories that I, um, well, you came to the right guy. Ah, he's all I right. know everything there is to know about Wenhua uh, University. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I'd feel like a damn fool standing around blabbing my head off. <laughs> Let's go to the cafeteria. What do you say? I'll be more comfortable. What the hell was hmm. that? 
It sounded like something fell down and slammed into the floor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me go make sure everything's okay. Don't die. You, just wait here. Be back in a few. I know I said I don't like you at first because I thought you were going to be like, what are you doing here? And then I thought you were going to grab us or something. Or you were going to be like, weird. And like, I thought he was going to like, you know, go that route. The, the... <sighs> well, I guess I judged him too quick. I feel bad. <sighs> that was close. That was pretty loud. Better check it out. I thought something had changed on there. Also, I need... I don't remember if, um... I don't remember if... Ooh. Again? I... Okay, I'm not gonna talk to him just... Oh. Okay, I just wanna say really quick, um... I actually forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, that's KFC. KJG. That's, that's pretty good. <gasps> What's that? That's probably part of a collection item. Um. Oh yeah, I don't remember what I was going to say now. I don't remember if it was this game or White Deer, but... Um. Oh yeah, I just crawl under it, of course. Collection? Bucket of fried chicken. Skeleton toy. Ooga. That is adorable as shit. I love it. Yes, to the collection. Um. Yeah, I think it was White Day. Then again, it might have been this. Um, I walked into a computer room and there was just a monster like sat there at the computer just going. And then it would like stare at you. So I wonder if that thing's going to make an appearance again. It was probably White Day because of the amount of ghosts in that game. You okay? Need some help? Sue! What the whooping hell are you doing here? Nah, it's nothing. I'll take care of it. Uh. That looks like uh, blood. What's this? I was just about to buy a drink. You want one? Uh, sure. Whatever works. All right. Come on now. Take a seat. Is that blood? Classic. This'll do the job. So, uh, where should we start? Or what do you want to know? If it has to do with Wenhua, I probably know about it. Ask away! Um, well, what do you know about the Huang Tingting missing persons case? Huang Tingting? Hmm. Her. Oh. Yeah. What a shame. She was a good kid. Did you know her? Yeah, you could say that. But didn't she end up dead? A body was never found. So... The police just left it as a missing persons case. Hmm. As always. I see. But after all these years, I'm assuming that she... Yeah, yeah. I figured the same. Hey, how'd you get that video? It's all over the internet. You haven't seen it? Internet? I'm not too good with computers. And now they've got those tables, tablets... Ugh, I don't use that stuff. Hey, wait. Why'd you ask about that girl? Actually, I did a special report on the Huang Ting Ting case a while back. Seeing that elevator again made me think of her. You seem to know so much about the place. I figured I'd ask. Hmm. True, true. I've spent so much Sorry. time up here alone. It's amazing how fast time passes. It must be tough having to stay up here so late. Nah. It's not like I've got anywhere else to go. You get used to it. You, um, don't get along with 
with your wife? She passed away a long time ago. From an accident. Damn. Oh, sorry. Ah, I feel so fine. bad. Lucky here. Such a beautiful nurse. Do you know how long it took me to win her over? <laughs> she really is gorgeous. She ran the nurse's office here. Bunch of brainless bozos back then. Students would go see the nurse for a damn paper cut. Oh, if it wasn't for what happened. Sorry. I'm willing to bet she'll show Listen, up eventually. Blabbing on about myself. Pretty boring, huh? Oh, not at all. I'm just glad that you're willing to talk to me. It's been a long time since I've had someone to chat with. Thanks. You rest here a while. I'll take you to the school history room whenever you're ready. Mm, thanks. Tell the sergeant you want to go to the school history room. Well, let me like explore just a tiny bit. Um, I'm getting the feeling that she's gonna appear eventually in the story. Seahorse Coffee. Okay, so that's meant to be Starbucks. That's obviously a KFC. I don't know what Cow Cow is. Um, if anyone knows what it is, just let me know in the comments. But yeah, speaking of White Day, um, I was talking to someone in the comments. Again, I, I don't... Um, I don't mean to like, forget your name. Um, great guy or great girl, I'm not sure. Um, ew, I know it remains in a pot. Some weird bone stuffed inside a pot and hidden in the middle. Who the hell put these here? So that's something you can like add to your collection. But yeah, um, I was talking to them and saying that I want to do a stream for White Day. So again, you know, I'm trying to get to 50 subscribers by the end of the year. So um, if you if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed already, please do because. I want to do streams, like, I want to do White Day on Nightmare Mode, um, I want to do a few games on Nightmare Mode, but I don't want to do them for, like, normal videos, mainly because, like, with its classic addictive flavour, it's been a best star for decades. I just don't want to, like, um, you know, like, record it, because it'll be, like, a lot of trial and error for the hard difficulties. Good to go. All righty. Ah, sorry oh. about that. This old elevator's a piece of crap. Let's take the stairs. Get some exercise. I was expecting it to be like a cutscene transition. Wait, what? There's nothing down here, is there? Professor! Uh? This here's Professor. <laughs> He's been here longer than I have. His real name's Pooty. But everyone just calls him Professor. A good day to you, Professor. <laughs> You're quite the character. <laughs> Again, it's setting up all of these characters, like his wife, um, this person who disappeared, the person of the shovel, um, the person who grabbed her in the elevator, and then his... I'm, I'm, I don't, I know. Oh. Okay, was that there? Before. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Dog food. Oh, it's doge. You don't even need to open the can to smell that meat. Shit. 
Um, yeah, I know I like mentioned already, but I think his wife as well is going to be a character. Um, and I know that doll on the TV is like a relevance as well. Um, ah, kids these days, nothing seems to scare them. Are you worried something might happen? I heard this place is haunted. Haunted? Yeah. If it's before midnight, they can do whatever the hell they want. Yeah, I don't... I... I, I, I do believe that it's like setting up all of these characters. Oh, all that stuff. I thought that was like something else. Um. What's with the white deer ghost? Wait, was that meant to be there? Is that. Is that, is that, was that meant, is that real? Or was that like a glitch? I don't want to be a glitch, but like... This is the school's founder. Shu and Shou, right? Somebody did their homework. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good guy. But his eyes really did him dirty. Huh? No, uh, nothing. The fellow wore glasses is all. I'm assuming he was like a perv to like the kids at the school. It's a land doggy. The Daran building was designed to be a well-known foreign architect over the years. It won countless awards for its outstanding design. Was she meant to be there? And here's the school history room. Everything about the history of Wenhua and the Daran building can be found here. Take your time. If you've got any questions, just ask. Okay, am I like... Gonna read everything. I guess I am. Okay, um, I'll leave Pudi for last. Built in 1959, the Darren Building was created with two founding principles, pers perseverance and fortitude, with the goal of instilling these values in the students. Wenhu University is composed of four major schools with a total area of approximately 165 acres located in the mountains. The views are breathtaking, the air is crisp and refreshing, helping to cultivate the students' world advice and characters. Exu Wen Ziong, January 14th, 1906, March 2nd, 1970. The school's founder has served as principal from 1955 until 1960. A writer, historian, and educator founded the university on those verdant lands to promote the flourishing, flourishing academic something. I still want to know if that ghost was real or not. Um. Okay, so that's obviously like the progress. Honorary mascot Pudi, 1958-1972. So it, she or he was alive for 14 years. That's a pretty good age. Pudi was found at the school entrance one night in 1958 after bravely apprehending a thief who had stolen some students' belongings. The students and teachers are my the dog for his heroism. They named him Pudi, and he became the official school mascot. Known for his hearty upside, Pudi could be often lurking around the cafeteria, eagerly eyeing students' meals. He would get angry and hold grudges if he wasn't fed. Hungry for power, Pudi would occasionally fight with his nemesis, a black cat in camp. Since of losing a fight, he would sit outside the military construction office and howl. Sergeant Hung would often serve as a meditator between the school's two furry friends. Pudi was respectful, known as Professor, as his career at the school beginning earlier than most. Pudi passed away in 1972. Construction commenced. I'm not okay. A for the forty of nineteen fifty nine. I don't know, like, if I should say the dates because, like, they probably go over people's heads, like me. 
Um, construction commenced on the Darren's building. Zhu Wen Xiong, the school's founder, is posing with the board of directors. Oh, you want to take some photos? <laughs> what a fancy camera. In any case, yeah, you can take pictures, but just make sure not to take any of me. Ah, uh, scared? Yeah, my spectacular physique. <laughs> I don't want your camera to explode. <laughs> Okay, I'll make sure you're not in any. I feel bad, honestly, I feel bad for like... Ooh, puzzle? Is she gonna look in the camera and there's gonna be something standing there? That's fake for sure. Huh? What makes you say that? Look at how new it is. Does that look like it's from the 60s? This building's supposed to be built with the eight trigrams in the right order. Huh. Which would mean it should drive out evil spirits. And this area is teeming with yin and yang energy. And we're on a mountain. It's extremely important to order them properly. Hmm. And their direction and angles must be perfectly aligned. Even worse, they were purposefully reversed. When placed in the reverse order, it draws in evil energy and keeps it trapped inside too. Which means, anyone who dies here turns into a ghost and is unable to escape. Not to mention the constant influx of evil spirits. Wow. Sure know a lot about Feng Shui. Impressive. <laughs> Just a little. I started doing some research later on. So that'll probably come up later in the game, I'm willing to bet. If only they hadn't screwed up when they built this place. They just built what they were given. Who would have guessed the architect would purposefully mess with the trigrams? It's got nothing to do with the builders. Hmm. Hmm. True. Ah, hmm. about the rumors of this place being haunted? You've been here for quite some time, so you must have seen a ghost or two, right? Ghosts, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it sure as hell wasn't one or two. Hmm. How do I put this? Wait. Ghosts and spirits. You can't talk about that in your report, can you? Um... Well... Whoa! It's already 11.34! Alrighty, right. About time to get going. Do you mind if I snap a few more photos of the elevator? No, no, no. Time to be going, Sue. Apologies. <gasps> Again? What's the date? August 21st? And soon to be the 22nd. No wonder. Uh, don't mind me. Do whatever you need to do. Uh... Uh, or maybe I can help. No. Hey, and don't go running around. It's late. Make sure you leave before midnight. Still got 20 minutes. I wonder if I can play a video in the screening room. Perhaps. But I think I'm going to leave the episode there. Um, I know nothing scary happened yet, technically, other than we're seeing a ghost. But, like, I don't want these videos to be more than an hour long, much like the first bridge curse I did. I mean, I don't remember how long the episodes were. I think they were, like, 45 minutes long, with the first one being, like, half an hour. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to leave the episode there. Um... I'm loving this so far. I, God, I Bridge Curse and White Deer are like two of the best games I've played. Um, I mean, it was my partner I've got to thank for like showing me them. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not gonna keep you guys for too long because I know when I say that, like, it ends up like another 40 seconds to the video's end. But uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy what you've seen today, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a future upload of mine. And if you haven't subscribed already, please, please subscribe. I need to get to 50 subs by the end of the year. I want to do streams for you guys next year. But 
till then, I will see you in the next video that I do. Goodbye.